Hello and welcome to a special edition of Meade Week. This week we spend a few minutes with Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Brian Foley. Colonel Foley relinquishes command to Colonel Tom Rickard on August 4th. Meade TV and the Sound Off talk with him about accomplishments, advice for the new commander and his future plans. We begin with Fort Meade's biggest achievements over the last three years. For years there had been a misperception in the halls of the Pentagon that the National Security Agency and um, and and then more recently, U.S. Cyber Command, where there was it was this that that the NSA was this massive Department of Defense agency that just happened to be co-located next to an Army fort up there in Maryland, co-located next to an Army fort up there in Maryland, and that the NSA was its own wholly self-sufficient entity that the Army didn't really need to worry about supporting, and so it was breaking through that misperception and, um, was really the single biggest achievement because from there came awareness of the growth that is going on here. The single biggest resourcing achievement for me for me would be the, or the most difficult one that we, what we were able to achieve together over the past three years is, is those 35 million dollars for the two military construction projects to uh, completely widen Reese Road and the Reese Gate and to rebuild and widen the MAPES gate and start widening MAPES going from 175 uh, west to 32 198. Uh, that's the biggest achievement when it comes to resourcing. $141 million in sustainment, restoration, and maintenance dollars allocated to us by Installation Management Command over the course of three years. Uh, far, far, far more than any other Army Force even for Gordon, um, to have that much sustainment, restoration, and, and maintenance money allocated to this fort over three years is a huge achievement. Those key functional you know, elements of running this city the, that, that have to happen for the, for the organizations and units and people to live here will have to continue, but some of the other services that we've been able to provide, some of the, you know, the rec morale uh, welfare, recreation services, some of the personnel services that we uh, have been able to provide ourselves uh, just as an army. Don't make any assumptions that because we have uh, appropriate visibility today, that Fort Meade has appropriate visibility today, that if you don't continue to beat the drum, uh, that visibility will remain here. Because you know, the mil military organizations are what they are, even at the Pentagon. Key leaders rotate. You get to do all the really cool community stuff, the, you know, the uh, shaking hands and kissing babies, mayor type stuff mm -hmm. that is, uh, is just so gratifying and, and uh, you know, kind of the, the once in a lifetime things, right? So mm -hmm. being able to throw out the first pitch uh, at Camden Yards at, an, at a National League baseball game three yeah. years in a row to be able to you know, meet and escort the President of the United States, uh, not right. just for 30 seconds, but for two and a half hours to spend uh, with him right. is, uh, you know, just a phenomenal privilege and you know, all those once in a lifetime things that you get to do. Honored to have been asked to continue to serve and to be moving now to the Army staff to assist in the uh, Chief of Strategic Initiatives, Chief of the Strategic, Strategic Initiatives Group for the Army Assistant Chief of Staff for Installation Management. So it's a mouthful, <laughs> a little bit longer than Garrison Commander. Yeah. Uh, the advantage of, of uh, being able to move down to the Pentagon is that I get to continue to live and be a resident here of, uh, at Fort Meade. So I'll be the uh, Garrison Commander uh, Emeritus, Emeritus, right? <laughs> right. And, uh, and yeah, so continuing to be a resident here. And I'm just gonna figure out the commute down to the Pentagon to be able to stay here for Liam, to be able to stay here uh, just because of this wonderful location. Uh, Lee has found a phenomenal job working with Grace Industries up in Columbia, and uh, she's incredibly happy there. And um, so, you know, the, the entire Maryland community, this region is one of the best places that I've ever lived or served in in my, in my life, and uh, we are happy to be remaining here in the Maryland community, and um, and uh, so we'll see what uh, the next two years of my career bring. And um, if at the end of this next job I uh, you know, I end up retiring, then uh, we will be looking to remain here.